Once upon a time, you see, in a strange land not far away, I met perchance a little bee upon a most unusual day. And when I asked who she was, she told me, my Like my ah, my why you question me? Why is no no answer for a bee? My my, she's always in a pretty pickle. My ah, helping someone else's little my ah, my everyone loves my ah, my ah, my. I didn't dare tell her that Cassandra had been caught by the bumblebees. Hmm. If I know Maya, she'd actually go out and look for her. <laughs> I'd better keep checking see who leaves the hive. Halt! Who's there? Stand still! Oh? It's me! Don't hurt me! It's only me, Maya! I've got tummy ache and I, I just wanted to... No? To oh, fire? really? Stomach ache? Make sure Has you affected your eyes? You can spend the night in prison! Oh, let me go! Uh, nothing quite oh, as nice go, as a night in a dark, dark, dark cell oh, oh, With a hard little bed go. and a crust of bread oh, And a spook oh, or two oh, as well oh. Oh, What's going on? Hmm? That was Maya's voice. I know, she wanted to leave the hive. And I think she's been caught. Ahem. I don't want to disturb you, but could I ask you a question? What's the problem, you naughty little runaway? For how long do you plan to keep me locked up here? Not all night. Hmm. All night. Someone heard you were talking to the grasshopper, and we were warned that you might probably try to escape and fly off to look for Cassandra. Just imagine what it would be like if everyone was allowed to come and go as they pleased. If the matter was in my hands, I'd keep you locked for at least two weeks, because that's what you deserve. Oh. There's nothing quite as nice as a night in the dark, dark cell. With, with a hard little bed and the crust of bread please, and a spook or two as well. I promise not to try to fly away again. I'm so frightened. Well... It's cold and dark in here. Oh, let me out. I'm so unlucky. Uh, at first I really thought she was trying to escape, but that is not the case. As I'm a friend, I really must help her. You're a fine guard. You're smart enough to top. What's the matter with you? Hey! 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 Hold those there! <laughs> you really shouldn't be afraid of me. Don't you know I'm Maya's friend, Willie? Oh. Well, young man, you certainly gave us a fright. What are you doing here? Maya's been locked up the whole night. I know I heard her crying. That's what woke me up. She must be very cold in there. I've uh, brought her blanket for her. Please won't you allow me to give it to her? That uh, really is very kind of you. You and I would call a very good friend. We can't let you in, though. No one is allowed in through that door. I am. Mm, really? really? I know the prison chief very well. You know no, our chief? chief. That's, that's different, different then. Huh? Really? Thank you. This is what happens when you don't listen. I think you deserve to be caught and put in prison, Maya. I'm only saying this for your sake. You can trust me. Oh, Willie, tell me how I can get out of here. Shh. 
<laughs> that's long enough. You must go now. Come on, Willie. Even if you know the chief, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. All, All right, right, Willie. Willie. Something funny is going on. What do you mean? Well, didn't Willie bring Maya her blanket? That's what he said, didn't he? Yeah, you're right. Then I wonder why he left with a blanket. Tell me why did he, huh? Hmm. Ah, ah, mm. no. Perhaps Maya didn't want it. Uh oh. Well, that's even funnier. Shouldn't we find out why she didn't want it? Let's ask. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maya doesn't even look like Maya anymore. Oh, of course not. How could I? I'm Willie. Whoa! Ah! That's where the saying comes from. <laughs> whoa, 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 what, what saying? That people with eyes like Mole should rather look twice. She couldn't possibly run away, huh? Certainly not. The gate's only just been opened up. <laughs> so if we close the gate now, then she must still be inside, not so? That's right. <laughs> Whew. Was I lucky to come across such stupid guards? <laughs>
I'm sorry, I didn't know you were a honeybee. my leaf, huh? Surely you could give me time to get my breath back. All right, if you fly on soon. My name is Hans Christoph. I'm one of those nasty blowflies, and you're a honeybee, aren't you? Yes, I'm a honeybee. It's not really any of my business, but if you're a honeybee, then why aren't you working? They always say, busy as a bee, why aren't you gathering honey? All the other bees I've seen today are gathering honey, so why are you loafing about? They were gorgeous, those lovely coloured wings. What's that? You haven't been listening to me, have you? I was following something which looked just like a long bee. It had the most beautiful coloured wings. Do you perhaps know what it could have been? Uh, around here? Mm, uh... Yes, right here. Shh, I think it can only be a dragonfly. Oh. What's the matter? Psst, if it finds you, it's the end of you, my sweet. It'll make short work of both of us. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Lie down, lie down. But why? It's only a frog swimming around. <laughs> why are you so afraid of him? He can't possibly see us through this leaf. Uh-huh. What makes you think so? Do you mean it can see us? What a question. Of course the frog can see us, you silly. That is, provided the sun is shining. The sun? What do you mean? Because if the sun is shining, the leaf is transparent from underneath. You can see right through the oh, leaf. Oh, that's so? See for yourself. Fly down and look up and you'll see. such a fuss about. I'm just a dragonfly called Shook. Then why did you eat poor Hans Christoph? He was so kind to me. He let me sit on his leaf. You're horrid, 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 horrid. You really are horrid. What a silly little bee you are. Don't you know honey bees kill all their males, the drones, once a year? How can you say that? I've never heard such a thing. I mean, being a bee, I should know, shouldn't I? Oh. <laughs> oh. You really make me laugh. It would seem that you are one of those people who only believe what they see, are you? Oh, well, I must say goodbye. I have more important things to do than to just sit and chat, so goodbye. Don't go now. I was hoping we could be friends. Wait a minute. Just a minute. I think you've forgotten that I almost ate you. I'm not afraid of you, if that's what you mean. And besides, I've got a poisonous sting. Even when I was very young, I could sting very well. Yes, I know you have a sting, and perhaps you can use it well. But did you know that you can only sting once, and that after you've stung someone and your sting is left behind, you will die? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, so you see, there are some things you don't know. You'd better be more careful. But that's absolutely terrible. Will I really die if I sting someone? To be perfectly honest, I don't know. Shook! Shook! Wait for me, please, wait! Won't you tell me something about people? Ah, here you are again. Do you really want to know something about people, yes. little bee? 
Let me give you some good advice, Maya. Forget about people. But I have been told that they are the most wonderful creatures in the world. Is that not true, Hershuk? Wonderful creatures? Who told you such nonsense? People are awful. If they catch us, they tear our wings and legs off one by one. Oh, no, no, believe me. It's best to leave them alone. I can't believe they're so awful. Hmm. Hmm. Then I won't be able to help you. Now that the wind has dropped a little, you can afford to be cheeky again. Oh, well, to tell the truth, when I was shaken to and fro just now, I was very scared. <laughs> I could see. Do you think I'll see some people if I sit here for a while? I'm sure you will. There are always little boys running around catching tadpoles, lizards and frogs. But perhaps they won't come because of the weather. Oh, what is the weather? The weather is everything. It's the sunshine and the rain. Oh. People don't like wind and rain. They call it bad weather and they stay indoors. Uh -huh. Just as we bees do, Shook. <laughs> and when they come, where do they come from, Shook? From up there, where the houses are. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't see anyone. Come this way today. Oh no, oh no, I don't want to look. Oh, what if it's true? The people really are bad and tear our wings and legs off. little boy. Now you have an idea of just how nasty people can be, but perhaps I shouldn't say anything. Maybe they're not all that bad. If we ever meet one another again, Maya, I know it will be as friends. Mm -hmm. Of course, Shook. <laughs> Good. Then I must leave. Bye, 
little Maya. Well, bye-bye, Shook. Now go to yourself. Thank you, Maya. You too. Shook, if you catch another blowfly, first ask him whether he's a friend of mine, all right? I suppose you want to know what happens next week, hey? Well, it's quite a story. Quite a story. Our little Maya rescued an army of ants, saving them from drowning. For that, she was allowed to march with them for one whole day. She had great fun, and I hope you're all going to have fun too. See ya.